turn to uh, Professor Omar Sibaram again. This university, uh, I don't have to tell you who is a renowned specialist, expert on the history of Iraq, contemporary Iraq, and it's Amatia who started this venture uh, more than two years ago. And it's, I think, the combination of Amatia's idea and endeavors to establish this uh, center and uh, Mr. Edry's uh, support. So it's only obvious that we now hear or ask Mr. Amatia to tell us what he has to tell us. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gary. It's really wonderful to announce the opening of Miriam and me, and me and Miriam, as a center for Gulf Studies. Uh, this is a dream of uh, Mehir Esri, and it also was our dream. So somehow, when it, it can happen, when dreams go together very well, when they meet. Unlike between us and Ahmadinejad, uh, it, it works beautifully. And of course, uh, Mr. Ezra's support is the only way we can open the center and make it into a very lively, very active, very uh, proactive center, which I believe it will be. First of all, Yoram, I haven't been introduced to you yet, but it's a pleasure to see you. I see that today you take your mom's place, right? So now we know the whole family, at least I do. Um, the idea of a center that will be dealing with Iran and the Persian Gulf uh, came up because of two different reasons. By, by our side. Why, why uh, Mayor Ezri wanted it is clear, you heard that. From our side, because uh, such an academic center, academic center does not exist anywhere else in the world. There is no such thing. There was one in Exeter, in Britain, but it's no longer there. And you have centers in the Gulf dealing with all sorts of issues, and you have one center in America, which is really a political think tank that deals with what happened yesterday and mostly what's going to happen tomorrow, which is very important and we should be doing that too. But we are going to be an academic center that will deal with history, culture, um, society, demography, uh, politics, uh, going back uh, all, all the way to 200 years ago, but certainly dealing also, also with the new century. So that's number one. Number two, why we wanted to do that. We have here a concentration of talent. Many of them are here now in, in this audience. Highly gifted uh, people, some young, some old, but, okay, maybe the old ones are old-fashioned, but the young ones are brilliant. And uh, so is Gadi, of course, who is in the middle of the way, I suppose. But, but... <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, very good. So, uh, the point is that we have here a fantastic human resource. Uh, you don't have it anywhere in Israel, that's for sure, but you don't have it anywhere in the world either. Haifa University, for some bizarre reason, it happened. And we want to keep these people here. And we want to use them as a group, because a group is more than the sum total of its individual participants. So that was our reason why, why uh, Mr. Ezra wanted to do that in office. I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm not excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What shall we be doing? We have four or five different, uh, you can call it, uh, uh, hubs, projects. The first and foremost is the Iran project. The Iran project has two different sections. One is Iran-Israel relations. And of course, Mayor Ezri is, is starring there because we are getting now a lot of documents, documents and a lot of books. 
that will be part of our research. And he's everywhere. And I recommend his book, which I went only halfway so far because I only received it two days ago. But that, and it's really a wonderful book and it's very touching. It's really touching. And what Mr. S. was told by David McGurion, when David McGurion was planning uh, some initiative in Iran, was when he asked him, what do you want me to do in Iran? So he said something really amazing. Today it sounds like total nonsense, but I hope that within a few years, <laughs> Sony is a bit, a bit uh, pessimistic. Five years from now, the Iran is going to be even worse. Maybe he's right, but do I know? Five but five years, yes, I know. But, but I hope it's five years. Five years, yeah. But in our lives, it's a lot. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I hope, maybe, that five years from now, no more than five years from now, what David Gurion told you when you first met him would be, would, would be again very relevant. Do anything you believe can help the Iranian people because when you do, when you help the Iranian people, you help the Israeli people, which is an amazing uh, insight, and, and it's almost a prophecy. And for many years, that was the case, for more than two decades. For two decades. Two decades. Uh, so uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, we should be studying the, the history of, of Iran, the modern history, 19th century, 20th century, 21st century, uh, all its aspects, all the aspects I mentioned before. Another hub would be Iraq. Yeah, okay. You know, of course, Iraq is my baby, but we have Iraqi specialists here, who are sitting here, who are today fantastic. Then, another hub will be dealing with the GCC, the, the uh, Gulf Cooperation Council, exactly. Uh, finally, another one will deal with the Jewish communities of the Gulf, which mainly are the Iraqi and the Iranian communities, but there are a few in Kuwait, a few in Bahrain, a few in Oman. Um, our immediate plans, this is the first con international conference, in mid to late November, in a few months, we are going to uh, inaugurate the opening of our premises on the 23rd floor, <coughs> and uh, in March, uh, 10 months from now, we are going to have the biggest international conference on Iraq that was ever convened since February, March 2003, since the occupation of Iraq by the Allied forces, by the coalition. And we should have here at least 15 uh, international guests, the best experts on Iraq in the world. One couldn't come, okay. So it's going to be a very special occasion. Finally, we already have a website, and this website will, is, 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 is alive, it's changing, it's developing, and I hope to turn it into something very important. Already we have many, many, uh, how do you call it, entrances? Uh, many links. 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 And, and links. 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 Many hits, yes. No, entries too, but many hits. And quite a few. And we should have many more, because we should have uh, people who are going to prepare a very brief uh, analysis and description of, uh, of uh, uh, events in the Gulf, especially in Iraq, but in the Gulf, uh, that are very relevant and that nobody has any access to. So, to my mind, this is also a great promising project. Thank you very much, and we shall see you in our meetings. Thank you.